Hey what's up everyone welcome to the byway channel we will continue our discussion of carbohydrate and in this particular video we will see the next category of carbohydrate called as oligosaccharide Now oligosaccharides are called so because they are short chains of monosaccharide units joined to each other by a characteristic linkage called as glycosidic bond. In this oligosaccharide, we will see few examples of disaccharide. Disaccharides are having two monosaccharide units joined together covalently by the glycosidic bond. Now, example is maltose sugar, which is having glucose and glucose unit joined together covalently by glycosidic bond. We will see how that is formed. Now, over here we are observing alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. These are anomeric forms of D glucose unit. Now, how the glycosidic bond is formed? You can observe hydroxyl group from alpha D glucose while hydrogen from the beta D glucose undergo condensation to form a water molecule and as a result, bond formed which is a covalent bond formed between this two sugars called as glycosidic bond and we have got our disaccharide maltose formed over here now where do we find maltose can you guess it is present in the boiled potatoes so whatever the boiled potato if you eat and if you see the layers surrounding the boiled potato coming out of it it is nothing but the hydrolyzed starch sugar from the potato and you are actually eating the outer layer of maltose over there then next in the oligosaccharide we will take the example of one more disaccharide called as i think you must be knowing this very well we are observing a very important disaccharide that we are getting from the milk called as lactose now lactose is consisting of two monosaccharide units joined together by glycosidic bond and these two sugar units are galactose and glucose joined together by beta 1 4 glycosidic bond then the next example of disaccharide is we are familiar with is nothing but the sugar that we obtained from the sugarcane which is sucrose now sucrose is a disaccharide made up of two monosaccharide one among them is glucose while the other one is fructose linked together by a glycosidic bond then coming to the next disaccharide example this is what we see in terms of plant and the example over here is called as cellobiose cellobiose is a disaccharide formed by the glycosidic bond between the two glucose unit and we are observing the glycosidic bond beta 1 4 over here so this is all about the next category oligosaccharide in the carbohydrate we will continue our discussion of the third category of carbohydrate called as polysaccharide in our next video so if you have liked this particular video then kindly like share comment and subscribe bye bye subscribe to my youtube channel the bio way on youtube and press the bell icon so that you will never miss another update from my channel thank you